Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is your love romantic reading for the period of February 25 to March to March 4, 2019. This is for Taurus sign. Applicable for singles, couples in a relationship or dating. Before I start Taurus, I really want to thank you for your likes, for your subscribe, for your support. Thank you to uh to, to everything. Thank you for being here, for staying with me. And I want to welcome those new subscribers, you know, welcome on board, welcome to my YouTube family. And yep, this is for you, Taurus, your card is ready, let's start. One more shuffle. Please, universe, ether, spirit, what's the message, please, for Taurus, February 25 to March 4, 2019. Important message for Taurus, sign, please. King of Cups, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer, or you might be dealing with someone who's very loving and caring and dedicated. You've got the Nine of Swords, Worrying, Stressed, the Moon, and you've got the Page of Wands in Reverse. So this coming week, um, there's a Pisces energy here. Also, we are in February month, so we're going to the Pisces season. So you might be dealing with a watery energy. A water person, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But it's more of a Pisces because the moon is here. Um, I feel confusion. I feel confusion and stress in here. Two cards back to back saying you're stressed uh, because something is not clear. You're not getting progress. But given that the King of Cups is your first card, it's saying they got your back. So I don't know, Taurus, why uh, you're confused. I felt like you're not seeing things as clear as it is because you're concentrating on stress. The, the Nine of Swords is sometimes this is overthinking. You, you overthink things, thoughts. Um, that's not really helping you to get out or resolve. That's why it's back to back to the moon. It's it's actually asking me to ask you what what is the main problem? What are you sad of? What you know? What are you sad of? What what what's keeping you stressed? What what is the exact thing that makes you sad? What what is the problem? That's what I'm getting in here. Cause this person is at your back. Like you know, when you wake up in the morning. They're still with you. They're still communicating with you. It could be this is a self-inflicted stress. You're stressed because you're expecting something to happen. And this person, you know, they're unable to deliver this yet. You know, it's like, you know, people can be on your life. You could be dating a person. You might want to level this up into a marriage, into a full engagement or living, live in together or a full commitment to be with you. Uh, but for some reason, they weren't, they, oops, one card is out. They weren't able to begin, you know, they weren't able to give you that, you know, Ace of Wands is here. You're, you're trying to manifest something. You wanted to happen something, Taurus. But this person is um, not ready or, mm, okay, is not giving that kind of attention, love, or commitment that you want. Or you're, you're trying to have something, but you, you couldn't. You couldn't get this from this person. They're not offering this yet to you. They have a lot of things to sort out, okay? But they're still with you. They're, you're still in communication with them. They do think of you as a long-term partner, as a partner. They do think of you. They want you in their life, you know. They want, they want to begin a passionate beginning with you. You will, as I see this Ace of Wands, you know, this is a new beginning, new passionate beginning. If you begin that, you know, because um, it's a new energy. At the end of this journey is a house, a castle waiting for the two of you. So it seems to be you're wanting to get a result, um, a commitment, a situation, but they're not ready to offer it. It's just, it's still on their mind. It's still in a planning phase. It's enough, you know, it's it's in the horizon. 
whatever it is that you're wanting to happen, whether you want to get pregnant, you want to get married, you want to get be engaged, if you're dating this person, if you want to be in full, committed, exclusive to each other, it's it's in their th thoughts. It's part of their planning. They they still have some you know some some things to sort out because you're you're stressed you're confused and this confusion is you because you're trying to get into a, a result that you want and for some reason this guy this person is not ready to give in and you're asking yourself or you want to find out as to why you know you're together but you're they're not able to deliver the marriage the engagement the commitment or the exclusive you know relationship they still have some sort of some some consideration, some issues, they're going a lot of emotions and choices. So if the, se the seven of wands, sorry, seven of cups, this is one of the confusing cards. Because you see this person, he is looking at seven of cups. He needs to sort out this seven of cups, probably choose and then make a new beginning. So don't stress, Taurus, because it's your, you're on their mind you know it's in their thoughts to have um an exclusive a more committed to fix this relationship the, you know you got their back you stress out for something you worry out for something where in fact they're still with you they got your back that's the message you want some clarity and the answer is that they still need to sort out some emotions some things Probably not connect, connected to you something about work or family related before they could begin or manifest a relationship with you, okay? So don't stress out. That's the main message. You got their back. They're with you. Um, they're in a planning, offering kind of thoughts or stage right now. So just don't stress out because sometimes you expect something and that's what disappoints you. Because you're not getting what you expect. So clear your thoughts and just wait for this person to be ready to sort out the Seven of Cups. Alright? So that's for you, Taurus. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being here. I, so soon, I will see you soon again. Bye-bye.